Hi, today I'm going to do a quick unboxing of the new Sunvision Psych Tor WX Wi-Fi and Bluetooth tower speaker. Right, now this arrived with me just within the last few minutes and I'm keen to get going so I'll keep the look at the outside of the box brief. Um, see, it's looking like a nice speaker. Got some compatibility under here, internet radio, Spotify, TuneIn and more, which to be fair you'd expect from pretty much any speaker. Um, what do we got? Plays in all rooms, plays all music, controlled by many. So yeah, you can use this speaker in conjunction with other ones, like either as a pair to enhance the sound, or you can broadcast it to any number of speakers around your room. Um, I'm assuming that's with this specific speaker and you can't use all other Bluetooths, but we'll, we'll give that a try in the full review. Go on here, onboard controls, tablet and phone stand, USB slots, basic control on there. There's um, apparently a corresponding app with this one, which there hocking on this side of the box, um, so you can control um, various aspects of the speaker from your phone or tablet or whatever you're choosing to use it from. Um, I'm liking that there's compatibility both playing audio over Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. I've never tried a, a Wi-Fi speaker, so it'd be nice to give that a whirl. Yeah, and there you go, it's showing the um, two speakers side by side. Great volume. Um, you can switch channels from what I've seen. Um, between left and right so you can get genuine stereo sound using a, a pair of these. But yeah, enough of that. Let's crack this one open. Ready, let's go. No tape or anything at the top. Cool, some other instructions, alternative connection methods. Manual. Free direct support from Sunvision. They have um, some online and occasionally phone support, I believe, for, for some of their particular products. It's normally like the higher end uh, media players and stuff from memory. Looks like that's the stand from the top of the speaker. 3.5 audio jacks. Oh, there we go. It's the last tour I had. It was battery powered only, and um, you could only charge it by, by USB. There was no mains cable, so it's a bit of a relief for me to see that one at the top because I would like to have seen that included. Here we go. This is the bad boy. Anything else in the box? Nope. Let's get you somewhere a little more comfortable. Righty, is that better? Good. Let's get rid of this. Keep that. Cool, let's have a look at the speaker. Never lost the most patient with packaging. That's good to stay for a bit. Right. Cool. First thing that leaps out is the um, gloss finish around the speaker cones there. It's pretty tasty looking. The other one, Tor speaker, was mostly just black wood and black plastic with um, only a little bit of red detail. So this is really nice, quite distinctive. Um, like the other Tor speaker, um, looks like good build quality on this one. It's mostly wood here. The other one had a speaker cone at the bottom uh, for for a sub, which is um, absent from this, but we'll see how the sound holds up in our full review. Look at the control panel on the top. Volume up and down, presumably M for mode, play, pause, skips. Ready? Okay, so I've got bass and treble controls on the back here. Not much else, it's like out for the sub there. Uh, dedicated power switch. So this one presumably can't be used unplugged at all, so there's presumably no battery for uh, fixed positions. Right, I'm gonna try and get this um, stand on the top. Okay. That's the audio jack we saw earlier. This is intended as a smartphone stand. Rubber's moving about in there a little bit. Hmm. It's not particularly impressive, it's quite loose on the bar. Anyway, um, let's pop them in the top. Got 
tell you what, for just a little push, that's surprisingly sturdy in the top of that. Let me grab some tech. Alright, it's the only thing I've got to hand, just my mobile. Goes in, even with a case that's in a fairly upright position. Not too bad. Test that with a few more devices and stuff. When we get to review, so it goes upright. Needless to say, that's less sturdy, but with Spotify and stuff, you get the best uh, interface having it sideways. Right now, where are we looking for this cable? Here we go. Oh, didn't look at this earlier. Okay, so we've got auxiliary port, USB, DC out. So presumably you could use this to charge um, other USB devices, you'd imagine. Two of them on there as well. Seems um, overkill, if anything, so thank you, Sunvision. Got USB ports, so presumably we're going to be able to play MP3s and stuff directly off of that. SD card also. Very nice. Now, if I'm honest, that looks like about all there is to see for the time being. So I'll run off now, get to grips with this, sort us out a full review, and I'll see you guys soon. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye.